welcome, welcome to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. I'm your host, Dante Payne, and you're sitting... Actually, I'm doing this solo today. No Miss Brianna Murray, but it's still here. We all good. So, with that being said... Welcome, welcome to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. We got an excited show for you today. We're going to break down the NFL, NBA, and we're going to get it cracking. But with further ado, we're going to get it cracking with our music. First song that's coming up on the day is the one song by Jason Newkirk, a.k.a. G.E. Bennett, a.k.a. Big Luvi. And it's called Believe That. And I just love this song just because how the beat comes in makes you think about it, makes you relax, and makes you chill, clear your mind, and find whatever, what's going on. But you know, I do love this song. So without further ado, I bring to you. Believe that Jason Lou Kirk G.E. Benny On Jacket Sports Live So Let's get it Gotta stay focused Cause man I'm on a mission Mission serve the Lord Beat the devil to submission Hope the whole world Listen to your heart And pay attention Salvation gain by faith Not by religion Word is prescription Holy Spirit is conviction And I am just a messenger Playing my position There's no competition When you're trying to Control destiny No weapon form That gets me prosper Yeah that's my recipe Evil out here testing me But the Lord blessing me My lifestyle change on me This is my confession See in the right direction G Pointing to the sky Thank you God every day Cause the spirit is alive Look, this song right here for my generation Different situations that we often facing Back against the wall fighting temptations Saying that we try but we really so complacent Tell us they focused on my grind Gotta keep the Lord up on my mind You believe that, that, that You believe that, that, that And if you love them, lift them high Throw them hands up in the sky You believe that, that yeah, you believe that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. I had to pause for a minute to let you know the boy be all about his business. Dudes say I'm tripping, they talk about me hating. But I got two words, let me yell it for you, cat. Stop playing. Man, the boy is a beast. I live a life for God, but used to be the streets. I praise and repeat, a scholar of the heavens. I swear there's been a fight since I was about 11. I go see the reverend, he helped me out some. But God is the only one, you know he awesome. And all I know is winning, don't know another deal. So losing is not an option like a lake of hate. Feel. Yeah, and I will not fall. I'm calling for the call. Yeah, a ball, man. I got swag. I get it from God. And he told me to be the new school Paul. Cheers. Time to stay focused on my grind. Gotta keep the Lord up on my mind. You believe that? That, that. You believe that? That, that. And if you love them, lift them high. Throw them hands up in the sky. You believe that? That, that. You believe that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, and I'm a groove to the beat. I represent G O D. You know me, G E. Tell all demons they can fall back. Get yeah, a boy real nice. I don't know lie. Hey, I feel the beat, so I'm a vibe too. I know the angels and the saints down the ride too. It's no fear, cause the Lord on my side, dude. You can have it too, cause the spirit lives inside you. Uh, used to not believe till I saw true glory. Make history, my middle name, Rich is right before it. God is the promise, yeah, the boy honest. I'm flying with the Lord, tell our pilot, get behind us. And we can cruise at different altitudes I got kingdom riches, homie, no fake jewels Undisputed heavyweight champ, I can't lose God, what you keep believing, know it's time to make moves Trying to stay focused on my grind Gotta keep the Lord up on my mind You believe that, that, that You believe that, that, that And if you love them, lift them high Throw them hands up in the sky You believe that, that, that You believe that, that
Welcome back to Dragon Sports Live. If you just tuning in, that young song that you just heard is called Believe That, and it's Jason Newkirk and GE Bennett on that track. I got more music on the way, but before we get back to that music, I got some things that we can talk about and get it cracking. But we're going to start with our Major League Baseball. Now, even though we have no sports, but it's still a lot of news that comes up that we can talk about and give that. I'm going to talk about why I feel Roger Clemens should be inducted into the Hall of Fame. So now, way back in the day, well, I'm going to say a few years back, they had this mystery report, and then we had all these users that was supposedly doing steroids and Roger Clemens was one of those so was Barry Bonds and a couple others but here's the thing I gotta say honestly I think Roger Clemens should be put into the Major League Hall of Fame here's the reason why he is one of many I just say he's one of the few pitchers to have a 300 plus winning record and not make the Hall of Fame. When I looked at his record, he was like 358 and 192, something like that, 98. His numbers, he had a perfect game where he threw 20 strike strikeouts in that game. And like looking at his numbers, why is he not in the Hall of Fame? Cause y'all thought he was juicing because he was doing he was too good. Maybe he worked out what he did. I got a chance to actually look at the interview he did with 60 Minutes. And it's not like he was defending anything. He's just like, I don't believe in doing that. I don't do that. And I could see it in his eyes that, you know, I believe him on that. Cause the simple fact, he was telling the truth. He was sincere. And yeah, I don't know on that one, but I honestly, truly believe that he should be in the Hall of Fame. He should be inducted like he has, I believe he has two more years to try to get in and he's already at 64% and you need to get 75%. So... In all actuality, I truly believe that he should be in the Hall of Fame. Not only that, not because he was inducted into another Hall of Fame, but like the AAA. But I really think he should be in the Hall of Fame. Like, I'm going to give you his actual win record. He was... 354 wins with 184 losses. A career ERA of 312. Like, that's amazing. And in case people are wondering what ERA stands for, ERA stands for earn runs allowed. He didn't really allow that many runs. He didn't really give that many runs. So, and he... Here's another thing. He played 709 games and started 707. That's over his career. This is the whole course of his career. I'm like, two games. He pitched 4,916 endings. He struck out 4,672 batters. So it's like, am I all in an opinion? I think he should be inducted into the Hall of Fame. So, and I'm like, if y'all look past this, he was an MVP, two time Triple Crown, seven time Cy Young Award winner. Has two World Series under his belt. All-star at MVP. 
seven time ER8 title and Major League Player of the Year. And that's why I think he should be in the Hall of Fame. Rocking either number 21, 12, or 22, he was that man. And looking at based off his numbers and all that stuff, he should be in the Hall of Fame. But don't go based off what he's done. I look at his career as a whole. Helm and Barry Bonds both deserve to be in there. Others too, but it is what it is. Moving it on with, you know, more baseball news. Mark Reynolds announced his retirement after 13 seasons. Four years with the Diamondbacks, Oreos, Red Sox. Indians he had a good promising career but after that you know people realize that they have to throw it up it's time to go it's it's a wrap so it is what it is but you know everybody time comes to an end as well as it comes to a close but we'll talk about more the thing a certain person time coming in later on in the show. And I'm talking about that young Vince Carter. Chris Sale is saying he's feeling good after the TJ surgery, even though after Chris Sale surgery there was no other no more other TJ surgery. So if they got it, need it, they're gonna have to wait. But you know, that is what it is. And ex-Cardinals Mark Hamilton finishes up middle school. And he's going to join that fight to help with the coronavirus fight. He's going to be on the outside lines. And congratulations up on finishing up middle school. But more importantly, that's all of our baseball news. Possibly we will have baseball in May or June on a shortened season. But we'll know. I'll keep you up to date when I find out the news and let you know what's going on with that. On top of that, I got more music for you guys. So, without further ado, what we got coming? We got coming up next. We got a song called Don't Let Me Down. And this is by Jalen the Bride. So... You're tuning in to Dragon Sports Live. I'm solo dolo today, and my name is Dante Payne, but my other half will be with us for the next show. So stay tuned. But this is Don't Let Me Down here on Dragon Sports Live. Check it out, Jalen the Bride. You gave me your word, I give you my heart. 
ass, little Botox, little cognac, rose, need the whole stock. Had a great time, look. I ain't see no clocks. Woke up in my bed, I ain't had no sock. It's gonna had two, maybe three or four thoughts all laying next to me, and I ain't even know it. Did it for the vine, I ain't really wanna do it. You tell me, Mr. Party over here, not that nothing over there. Hold, hold black bottle, fresh Prince of Bel Air, and we be at the top, I don't ever see you there. You hold just a kind of bad name beer. I take a shot and you take a shot, then we passed out up in the vacant lot with no recollection that the night before. Said I'm fucked up, man, I'm so fucked up Got us in a bar fight, we ain't got punch drunk Think I need more bottles than I need more cups Ain't that we all trash, feeling like dump truck Fucked up, man, I'm so fucked up Got us in a bar fight, we ain't got punch drunk Think I need more bottles than I need more cups Think that we all trash, feeling like dump trucks I'm, I'm, I'm gone, 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 gone. Gonna can't feel my face, oh no, no She gon' earn it Then I pass to the team And I earn that assist And the machine got the nerd And we swerve that beat In the VIP And I'm OTS With a P-Y-T-H-O-T-S Hey, hey, man, man, I know he next But he stayed on the bench So I know he flexed On a four four Probably got four holes He no order up Count that dope Then in the four torch Pressing me like full court They be going full force Trying to get toast I be yelling for some They be like, okay Sipping on the vibe, baby Mix it with the all day I be in my own lane Mix color roll rage Try to play me Funny how to roll All I gotta say is, oh, who decided to join? <laughs> really? I was not expecting you to join on uh, Young Dragon Sports Live. <laughs> My pop- yeah, I thought I was you. Well, you, I was just talking about why Roger Clemens should be in the Hall of Fame, but you know. We about to jump right into our NBA because we only got a little bit most of our information coming in football today. Well, you know, slightly breaking news is that the NBA is planning a 25 day return to the regular season. Yeah, but they need time to relax. They need time to. That's what the 25 day plan is it's like 11 days for practice. 14 days for something else. So it's like making all these days and then we'll go back into the regular season. I will see about that because I got a feeling all these are going to be rusty. Well, maybe we get KD back. He was playing a lot of five on five contact. It's like he's, hey, you never know. They have the extra. Couple months just to do nothing, so maybe they'll come back. Well, Clay Thompson got nothing to come back for. He ain't got nothing to play for. The Warriors ain't going nowhere. Mm, mm, mm. Next year, true. But I'm waiting. I would love to see NBA back. I would love to see sports in general back. Yeah, I'm like I'm bored. I'm not bored because I got the old ba- old schools and the throwbacks, but I still want to see my current and new schools so I can compare. I want to see some NBA Finals. You know, Food Network and HGTV, it ain't working for me anymore. 
well, I don't watch Food Network. That's all you. That's all you. So how you gonna cook then? I got cookbooks. I got YouTube. Food Network is more for like the super artistic ones, like Cake Boss. Nailed it. You see, wow. y'all, like, part of the quarantine is like you're supposed to have this on. Quarantine? None. I'm in my preface of my own house. I don't need a mask inside my house. So am I. Do you see my back right here? I'm just saying. But, you know, Kentucky freshman Tyrese Maxi declares for the draft, along with Louisville Jordan Nagara. Declares for the drive. Terry. Terrell Terry. I'm sorry. Wow. I gave him his first name, his last name first. Wow. Are you a little, are you a little how Easter candy over there? I don't have no Easter candy. You suck. I'll go get that later. Mm, okay. Good luck with that. Oh. Uh, but yeah, we also have French guard Theo Meldon entering draft. Duke freshman Cash Cassius Stanley into the draft, and he has some pretty nice numbers in college. I was looking at that. Nico Miniman into the draft, and Jalen Smith, and then also uh, Trey Jones from Duke, the third of the Cam Red, Zan Williams, R.J. Barrett. What a fourth. Well, fourth yeah. Yeah, because he got injured. Because he would came out last year, but he got injured, so he wants to get some game under his belt. Yeah. That's the best thing to do. Especially when you get injured. Especially you had, like, what is it? ACL injury, I believe? Mm-hmm. Now, here's a question for you. Do you think the NBA draft will be virtual like the NFL draft? See, I don't know because it depends. Because the draft is not till June, it may be virtual, it may not. But I think they might keep it virtual. Depending just for, that. yeah, just for safe. But we'll see. just for social distancing. We'll see when it get closer down that line. Because they may announce something different, so we never know. But I got a feeling it would probably go virtual if they don't get everything resolved with that and yeah I got more music on the ways guys just due to the fact that oh speaking of NBA I don't know if you guys watched it but y'all need to watch the documentary for I did it for him Seattle it's an interesting story the man from Cameroon Cameroon. So he his his father was a mayor, but he wanted them to play basketball. So Siakam has three other brothers. He's the baby. Wait, hold on. Joel and B and Pascal Siakam is from Cameroon. Yeah. Well, you call him Sikkim. You don't call him Siakam. You call him Sikkim. I said it right this time. I ain't say sick. Oh, I said Sikkim because he was sick in that defense on. I, look, how 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 long did you have to practice Siakam before the show? Oh no, I said Sigum when he's playing defense. He was singing and he's singing those three pointers. That's why I call him Pat mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But this cat literally been through a lot. Like when his dad died from a car accident, he he didn't want to go. Like his brothers and sisters was all telling him to stay. Stay back and because they didn't want to risk him being able to travel there and not be able to go back because he was waiting for his visa to be renewed. But mm-hmm. Looking at his college game, I'm like, why does that name sound familiar? He's a beast, and he's still well, developing. Well, good for him. You ain't got no input on that. With like, you think he gonna? Continue to rise up, or do you think he's gonna pump because of this epidemic? No, I think he's gonna still be rising. I think he's still gonna be improving his game. I think he's gonna be good. 
I think so too. He's still young at that. He's still young. You think about this? He's already NBA champion. NBA champion, most improved player. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm holding up a flag. Why are you holding up a flag? Uh, I can. Oh, what? For those who's listening, I'm also on Instagram Live on the Dragon Jump Pro page. And I also have B-Ray Marketing Media. That star receiver, the CEO and founder of that, Brianna Murray, aka my host, my co-host, am I to have, so. That's how we hey, do it that way. She surprised hey, me when she told me to do the show. Oh, and now she is. I was cleaning, so I didn't know how long I was going to take to clean. I was going to wait for hey. you. And then by the time I finished cleaning, I, you popped up saying you was live. So I was like, oh, well, I'll just click on it. I see. Don't do that no more. <laughs> don't do it anymore. Why not? I'm just saying, don't do that no more. Just let me know he's coming in. Because I didn't know he was coming in. That was the point. But <laughs> Chicago Bulls did find a new executive, so I guess the guard in passing be, era is... I'll be, right I'll be right back. Hold that thought. <laughs> I'm going to hold that thought for her. Because she's going to do a backflip. She's going to do, do a backflip. Y'all, because she... <laughs> Feeling good. Everybody been wanting this. Stephen, they've been wanting this. I guess ever, ever since, yeah, everybody's been wanting this for a while. A while is understatement. I'm just, yeah, they've been wanting this for a while. So I threw a hissy fit. You know me, bro. I mean, they've been in power way too long. They gotta go. Yeah, and then I, I felt like it was time for him to go. So the Bulls hire uh, Art. Wow, I need to get his name right because. Denver Nuggets GM Articus. Look, you can- <laughs> Hey, I got the first name is Articus. Yeah, I'm a- and, and it looks like they're going to, for a GM, they're going to hire Dell Demps, the former GM for the Pelicans. That would be a good thing, seeing he's also a brother. Now that's the thing for the top position, Bulls and Knight. If you're not a brother at all, <laughs> and, and this is my thing, and this is a question for you. So, do you think we're ever going to have a black male as a, in that high level executive position? Eventually, but why not a black female? Why not just a black person in general? Oh, well, you got you got that right too. Oh, please! It's, look, we got. But let's start with the male first, because a black female, you know, n- no offense, but you know, we can have our attitude. So you know. Well, that's that's just most. I, mean, I ain't gonna say all, but most. Yeah, you're right. That's most. So we gonna we gonna work that way. Let's start with the the, the black male first, and then work our way up. I eventually like you got a lot of. GMs that watch say VPs or GMs that's deserving of that position. Mm-hmm. Look at that Elton, Elton Brand. It's a definitely Elton Brand. Uh, Kobe Altman. Even though I don't know if he's black, but he's still minority. Right. So, is he black? Oh, the- I, Very I good. We can Google that later. Not let y'all guys know on the next show. Um, and those who are bored, you can always watch NBA Two K cool players. Wow, NBA Two K players go against each other, not even using their own teams in the Two K tournament. They and they be asking questions, but not. Did you see like Patrick Beverly just like clean walked out though? Because he was getting beat. Yeah, he like, man, forget this. I'm gone. Oh, here's more news for you guys. Bulls hire it. Pelicans J.J. Polk as assistant GM. 
So we just getting all the Pelicans left over. <laughs> well, if you look at the Pelicans organization, they got a good organization. They got a good organization. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm, I'm curious to see what what these new the new VP and the new GM gonna do in this new era, starting with the draft, <laughs> which is can we June soon. Yeah, it's supposed to be in June, but like I said, we'll find out. But we'll everything is happening. Keep you going. Never Speaking of that, some places, if you don't have a mask when you go outside, you're going to get fined. Be fair for that. Up to $1,000. I ain't going. That, that's I, ain't, I ain't got that much video. Look, it's not in Chicago, but just in case, I'm going to have a mask. Ladies and gentlemen, Amazon, they are $12 for a fabric face mask that can also be worn as a headband. Headband, beanie, whatever you want to be. How, how are we going to get a beanie out of that? Joint? Easy. You just take it up, pull it. And it's a beanie. It's long. Like, it's like, it covers from here to, like, your neck. Because that's the face shield. That's one of the face shield joints. That's what I want to get. So, like, think about you in the Sahara Desert. I know. Sandstorm. Well, well, look, $12. You want one? I got you. Okay. It's on you. She offered you. I heard her. I did. If It'll be that. Drag it on now. Cool. I got you. It'll be here in May. So, I'm looking forward to that. Now. But I'm also looking forward. You're looking forward to a fabric face mask? No, I was talking about this, hopefully sports and a fabric face mask, yes. Because I'm like, uh, yeah. okay. You're going to be too cool for school, yeah. I might just do the show with it. Nah. Don't be a creep with it. Now nah, I could say this though. Uh the ESPN could have kept the game a horse. I think that's kinda to do. You know why I say that? Cause it should be like the same playing field type thing. You got some players they got a whole court in their house and then some players just got a room in their drive through. Yeah. So if you're trying to have court shy, and you got you're gonna be court, in the street, basically. You're gonna be see be in the street. Yeah, that's not. It's not fair in the loop in a way. It's not, but here's the thing: everybody is quarantined, so you shouldn't have to worry about the car pass and go make the shot. <laughs> if you step, if you step Curry with that quick release, I don't think it'll be a problem. No, nah, his release is quick. If you play with him 2K, his release is quick. I'm a 2K player. I know this. He can drop 60 on anybody he see. Anybody. But you want to know what's, what else is going on in this quarantine what's world? What's the going on? Lipo is hosting the Instagram live concert series. Y'all know that means a lot of people. A lot of people are. Chris Paul's doing his thing on Instagram. Um, but a lot I, of people. Sir, people you, we know. They, they did SNL on Zoom. I, I gotta watch that one. I, I kind of, I'm kind of curious about that one. They literally did SNL on Zoom, and I'm like, how did that work? Now nah, that's what I say. I gotta watch that. I'm curious. Ex Kentucky freshman Khalil Whitney to enter the NBA draft. It's a lot Khalil of Whitney, yeah. Cause they just want to be one and done. Personally, I think they need to do two years of college. Well, it depends. Cause if you now, let's just look at this, the this draft. Let's talk about that real quick. Let's look at this, the top five, right? They keep having balls in there. LaMelo? 
Yes. Yeah. The other ball ain't going to be in the draft anytime soon. He's in the G League. He was in the draft last year. He didn't get drafted. Again. Which we knew that. <laughs> oh, we talking about LaMelo Ball, who now almost owns his own team? No, nah, it ain't. It ain't happen. But yeah, he did yeah, own, own his own team, though. I would feel looking like at the rightful age of 18, you can own your own team and then you try to go in the NBA. I don't think that's going to be, I don't think that's allowed. So, okay, here's the, yeah, that's probably true. They probably had some limitations on that. But think about this, though. If you watch some of these, because we was at the time that March Madness was about to start, we should be well into March Madness, actually. But no, March Madness should be over. Well, that's what I'm saying. Basically, we're saying because you're close to the But anyways, if you look at some of these freshmen, some of these freshmen has been on a ball of mania. Like, uh. Was it James Winston that left Kentucky? Or no, Memphis? Oh, you're talking about James Wiseman? Wiseman, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. They suspended him indefinitely. And he was basically like, I'm done. I'm declaring for the draft. And I'm like, don't you have to be eligible to declare for the draft? He was eligible because he played the game. They suspended him for 12 games. But doesn't that declare you ineligible once you're suspended? No. You oh, okay. <laughs> well, excuse me? So then how is the middle ball going to be eligible for the draft? He played overseas. Think about it. That counts for the NBA? That counts for the draft? Think about it. When, when, when they draft players, they were like coming from... When they draft Luka Doncic, he was playing overseas. Oh, true that. Okay, my bad. So... Here's and this not gonna say, but they have James Wiseman center going to uh, the Warriors. And this is a mock draft, not my mock draft. I didn't do this. We'll take him. Uh, Anthony Edwards going towards the Cavs. Obi Topping going to the T Wolves. Oyika Okongwu going to the Hawks, and then Lamella Ball going fifth overall to the Pistons. Look, not number one, not number two. But no, the fact the fact that you said the Warriors number one, we that bad? <laughs> yeah, we was that bad this year. <laughs> Man, thank you. Now it's they they predicting that Isaac Okoro. He's a six six small four, weighing at two hundred and twenty five pounds. Mm-hmm. And he's a standout defender, excellent athlete with game changing NG efforts, which I think is what the boys is missing since they got rid of Joaquin Noah. They got rid of Joaquin Noah. He's now. He with the Clippers? Yeah, I think he yeah, with the Clippers. Man. So you know and that's Yeah, you know, it is what it is, so we'll see what happens. Let's see now, like you say about Wiseman, he has been working out. Ever since he left us, uh, he left Memphis. He's been working out, right? And he's been doing whatever. Because whenever you announce that you're going to go to the draft, it's basically like, yeah. And they comparing him to Anthony Davis. Who? James Wiseman. Well, if the Warriors can get him, that would be a beautiful thing. 7-1, he can shoot to three, he can drive. Did you say he's 7-1? Yes. We definitely need that size. We don't really have a... True center. 
Yeah, we don't. <laughs> we have more. I mean, think, players in think about it. Draymond played a five, and he's six six. Six seven. Can he still? And he plays four more. More than five. Yeah. So yeah, the drive come around. We'll see. But without further ado, I have more music on the way. I have any day now. Via featuring a lot coming up over here. Did you see me this? I did. They were guests on the other show. No, I just thought about it. I'm like, where did this song come from? Yeah. Well, this song was sent to me by Miss Brianna Murray. And we practicing our social distance to the fullest. But this is Via and Day now on Dragon Sports Live. Check it out. Yes. You now rocking with the best. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Via. Yeah. I'm on my way up. So I ain't got time to play these games that people play. Feeling fine. So many nights I pray for this. I nearly lost my mind. So every day I sing, I bless it with I thank you, I thank you, I feel you in my soul. Take control. Oh. So don't you walk away from me. See, I'm on that line. Feeling good, feeling fine. So many day now. I know I'm gonna be alright. So any day now, you can never break my shine. And you can never break me down. And you can never end my life. So any day now, I'm a certain end my life. I'm in my B-boy stance for Bruce Lee White Glow. My thesis taught Jesus, I'm just letting it go. My 16 rubber weight on the cross is glow. I'm talking Christ, you brag on all your dough. We don't spit it the same, you kids. Lane, watch the lines approach. I'm in the jungle where they die for so. And if I'm lying, I flow. I go hard, I'm applying the show. Now play homage when you find the goat. My God. So many days now, I know I'm gonna be alright. So many days now, you can never break my shine. And you can never end my life. So many days now. I was like to live my life. Nothing is impossible. Nothing's too impossible for God. Via any day now featuring J Lock. Like the song. I like I like what he's saying now. I like what he mean. Do you now? Oh yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> but 
let's get it cracking. The most important thing of this show is actually where most of the news is coming. NFL news. <laughs> yeah, because NFL just started their league year. They did start their league year. So, like, we had a couple other trades that happened that we didn't get to. Thank you. We had, like, the You're welcome. Get former Eagles cornerback Ronald Darby. Really now? Now you got to think about Ronald Darby is actually he's a pretty good cornerback. He's everywhere. He was um, I think he was hurt a lot last year, wasn't he? No. Well, he was hurt like a couple games, but other than that, he was the reason why he got to shine because a lot of players was hurt. That's right. So, big ups to them because that is boosting the defense for the Redskins, especially in that corner, that secondary, because they kind of need that. Yes, they do. And then ex Bronco defensive end, Derek Wolf signs with the Ravens on a one year deal. Okay. Well, you know, we the Ravens lost pieces, so now they got to get pieces back. They got to get pe- Well, they'll be able to get a lot of the pieces back um, just for throwing this out there. But, of course, the XFL is no more. They laid off all employees and have ceased operations, and there are no plans to go forward in 2021. We'll probably find out more about that one later. Like I said, when all this is um, no I thought they were successful, so I, they was doing better than the AFL. I, I definitely say that. Yep. So, and a lot of those players have came over. We mentioned those last week's show that who those some of those players were, but when they come over now, we'll let you know what, what that happens. Lions also get ex Packers wide receiver Geronimo Allison for a one year deal. How you feel? About that? How you feel? I about want. That? I know. I just told you how I feel about it. He was decent. He had a couple of passes though, like, but he's a decent three. I ain't gonna say two or one, but three. Or four. So he's a so he's a decent three. I mean, look, you got to get a line spread. They doing some. They didn't do the Bill O'Brien. <laughs> and I was next since you brought that up. <laughs> oh, thank you. Let me get started. They didn't do the Bill O'Brien. Give up your best wide receiver who does not drop passes. A number, a true number one, two, or three in the league. Probably three behind Julio Thomas and Michael – Julio Jones and Michael Thomas. I'm sorry. And then there's DeAndre Hopkins. You shipped him to Arizona for a fourth round pick. The Bills got they gave up two first round picks for Stephon Diggs. Y'all get a fourth round pick for DeAndre Hopkins. And in turn, you take on David Johnson's bad contract, who ain't had an elite season in three years. And then you bring wait, wait. David Johnson has had a promising season in the last two years. Before that, no. Okay, he had one two. He had one two years. Either way, you bring him over, and then you bring on Brandon Cooks that has had five concussions. Count them: one, two, three, four, five concussions in six in six years. Well, what are the points are you saying? Bill O'Brien <laughs> likes to take on injury. Receivers, think about it. Can he and is emo- Will Fuller and, it, and is emotional in his decision making. You got rid of Davion Clowney. Now you get rid of DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins, though, you give Kyler Murray another receiver just like Larry Fitzgerald. True, but they don't want passes. And here's another thing: if you think about it. Uh, dang, what was other? Well, if you think about the <laughs> trade with Cooks, they gave up a second round to get Cooks. Think about this receiving class for the draft. That's in it's a, a week. it's a deep receiving, and that's what everybody's saying. Why would you do that when you could have gotten 
an elite receiver in this draft. Let's see. Oklahoma got what? Three of them? Henry Ruggs? I think Oklahoma has three. I think Alabama has like three or four. But it's it's still a, a well rounded class of receivers. Randy Nelson is in the draft. That's what I say. It's a well rounded class of receivers. You could have picked one of them up in the second round. If they didn't fall so, early, early for second round pick, could have been you could right now. You y'all ain't got nothing but fourth rounders. A lot of them receivers ain't gonna be live to come fourth round. Well, that is true. Speaking of draft, the draft is still on the 23rd and to the 25th. So, check it out. Virtually. Virtually. So, I, I kind of want to see how that would go because, you know, how we practice in social distancing. So, if the player gets drafted, they're going to be in the room by themselves. They're going to be in the room by themselves with a bunch of screens around. Like, my people is on this screen, on this screen, and that screen. Or they're going to be the well, here's the thing. I think they're going to have their most important people there. So they're going to have like their mom, dad, and everybody's just going to be six feet apart. Yeah, that too. Or are you going to put on the virtual headset? But yeah. That too. Or just when you get drafted, you know, just, you know, do, do an air hug. That is true. And speaking of drafting, so the Bears. They uh, be competition is open for starting. Who would it be, Trubisky or Foles? You want my honest opinion? Yes. To what start the season? Yes, if we get a season. Okay, if we get a season, which hopefully we will, I think. Honestly, I think Trubisky's gonna start the season. And then I think Nick Foles is going to finish the season. I think it's going to be that way, too. Or it may be vice versa. So Trubisky get hurt and Nick Foles finish the season. Again, I say this every time I mention Nick Foles. He does better in that way. But when he starts the full season, nope. It don't work that way. And they got draft picks in the second round. They got the 43rd pick. Wow, even the Bears. Even the Bears got a second round piece. <laughs> they got. Uh, oh, was that Patty? That kind of was. Just a tag. Just a tag. It's the truth. True. But then you got. They got a fifth round pick. That 163rd pick in the fifth round. And then in the sixth round, they got 196 and 200. And then round seven, they got 226 and 233. So again, we got more picks than the Texans. We got more picks we, than the Texans. We have a shot to get a receiver if we want it. That is true. Now here's your question. Do we need a receiver? No, we got a couple decent receivers. We just gotta utilize them. We need a quarterback. We got, we got a quarterback. Let's see what the competition does and what it holds. But get, You know, that's the only issue. We traded up to get Mitchell Trubisky when it was Deshaun Watson, Pat Mahomes, all waiting, all right now. And we traded up, up for Mitchell Trubisky. Hey, it is what it is. Um, but let's see. Even if we trade up for Kyler Murray, when it feels so bad. Hey, let's see when it's, when the season starts. Let's see what happens. But until then, we will catch you next week. Same back time, same back channel. I'm Dante Payne, alongside with the lovely Brianna Murray, and this is Dragon Sports Live. Surprise, pop in. But we'll see y'all next week. <laughs> see you all. Bye.